Hi, I want to do a video today about the Wakeco, I think that's how you say Nanopresso system, um, and the various accessories that they sell, and uh, a little bit of a journey that I've been on uh, to, I think now, come up uh, what for me is, um, is a great mobile espresso setup. Um, so you may well have seen videos beforehand of this uh, system. It's a small kind of hand pumped espresso maker um, and and the original setup basically comes um, like this. It's got a uh, coffee scoop. Uh, it's got a water container that uh, um, has a uh, small coffee cup attached and essentially you fill uh, that with heated water. Um, there's inside the top a small eight gram uh, um, coffee basket and uh, and a uh, pressurized porta filter group head type thing, and um, you basically then supply the uh, the power for this. So you use the supplied cup and. Um, and then hand pump to produce an espresso. And um, yeah, okay, it works all right. You you may well have seen some videos where uh, one or two people are a bit ambivalent about it. I guess um, what I found was that I thought the dose of coffee was too small. Um, I'm a double espresso person, so uh, you know the novelty of being able to produce espresso on the go was great, but uh, I also found that using kind of commercial pre-ground uh, coffee, it passed through too quickly. Um, uh, so it was a little bit weak extracted. Um, so that was my first upgrade. And so the next thing that I got was the barista kit. And the idea of this is it gives you a few upgrades. Uh, so essentially it comes with a, um, an extra eight gram basket with quite a neat lid on it so you can take your coffee with you on the go. It comes with an extension ring for the uh, original uh, machine. It comes with a, a small tamper that uh, goes with the device. Uh, and it then also comes with a, um, a couple of, uh, oops, a couple of extra uh, double size, double shot um, uh, coffee containers. So uh, they're 16 grams as opposed to the eight grams of the original. And you can see already you're, um, you, you've got a bigger volume of water in the uh, larger volume uh, coffee cup and uh, coffee holder um, and essentially this then replaces the similar parts on the other machine so um, you remove that I can take the old coffee smaller coffee basket out put the extension ring in it's now got space for one of the larger coffee holders so I can get 16 grams of coffee uh, in the machine now and the, the lid touches on and we're then on to I think what's a, a more serviceable device for making uh, double shot espressos and uh, lungo type coffees uh, and that really was quite an upgrade for me. Um, I still wasn't entirely convinced about the uh, flow rate through the coffee. Um, I haven't tried hand grinding uh, or um, producing my own ground coffee for this, but using commercially ground uh, espresso coffee, I, I couldn't quite get it right. And uh, um, so I still wasn't quite there. And I guess the other downside is that having now got a longer device, the original case 
no longer fit. So, but of course, Wakako have a, an answer for that. So if I remove the accessories, which you can see all stacked away, uh, they do do a larger carrying case, which, you know, quite neatly will take the expanded piece of kit up. Um, and yeah, okay, I've, um, I've used this camping and, uh, and, and it was a good purchase really in its own right, but I was finding that uh, crouching down somewhere whilst camping, uh, tamping coffee, um, uh, I found that the lids of these really uh, don't stay on very well, so it, it would keep coffee inside the machine, but you couldn't really keep those outside. Um, uh, and it was one of those gadgets that I'd got and uh, it maybe wasn't getting the use it should have. So that's where the next accessory then came in. The Nespresso adapter kit. Um, and let me pop that to one side. What this consists of is really uh, an adapter to allow you to use the same machine uh, but this time uh, with um, nanopresso type uh, pods. So this kit basically comes with a small cloth carrying case. Um, it's got a replacement for the head um, which is hopefully you can see from there it's got uh, little serrations that uh, uh, the pod goes into here, there's some spikes in the bottom and the serrations on the top here as you screw it on actually then perforate the the foil top layer of the, the pod. Uh, the bottom of the pod being pierced then water can be forced through it uh, bringing coffee through there. So the idea then is that this can then attach to the top of the machine replacing the the double size basket um, and you can see then what you've got is essentially a portable uh, Nespresso compatible pod machine um, and that's brought the machine really it's in into its own um, I've got mixed feelings about pods um, you know I think this well rehearsed discussions about uh, how they're not eco-friendly uh, uh, and the coffee in them tends to be a small amount of coffee and so on the whole they're, uh, they're a darker um, roast. Um, uh, but I have to say that using them in this combination um, has produced some really great coffee. Uh, uh, it actually is a is a fantastic combination. Um, I will try and tack onto this video uh, um, some picture of it being made, and uh, I have found that uh, it's a little bit fussy about which pods it likes. Um, uh, longer pods sit, make it so that you can't quite screw this down completely. Um, some of the cheaper pods that I've bought. Uh, the foil le level gets shredded a little bit by these perforations on the top, um, so that can make a little bit of a mess of it. Um, uh, but um, but yes, uh, it's very rare that uh, uh, my family kind of notice uh, really good cups of coffee, and we've been out camping with this, and uh, and for once the family said, "Hey, what's this? That's fantastic coffee," and it. It basically uh, makes great coffee from a pod. Uh, and so the combination uh, of this plus the carrying case really has become my um, go-to traveling kit. Uh, I don't, I can then take a collection of pods along with me. Um, uh, they're quite easy to, uh, to, to carry then and uh, I can bring the used back pods for recycling. Um, uh, but it was a bit of a journey to get there. Uh, so you can see essentially I've bought the case, the Nanopresso adapter, 
the barista kit and the original Nano Presso. So I'm all in with this uh, system now. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that that's got me to um, really a, uh, a, a gadget now that uh, you can see this is uh, well used now. Uh, this pretty much comes with me uh, and a box of pods. And so long as I can get access to, uh, to hot water, um, I've got a coffee, uh, a really good cup of coffee whenever I want one. Um, so I hope hope this has helped. Um, as to in terms of cost, uh, I think if you look around, you'll find that uh, uh, that you can get some really good deals on these uh, these now. And uh, I'd encourage you to uh, have a look around and um, uh, get a setup organised. Okay, thanks for watching.